Good morning. So today I've decided to tell a story. I have to get back to some of my stories. This is about the Army. So I got out of boot camp, but I couldn't go home because my, my communication school was starting. And I went to communication school to, school to learn Morse code. And of course, for females, you get to learn to be a telephone operator. But the Morse code was very interesting. I get out of Morse, the, the school, and before I go to the next school, I'm going to go home, finally. I think it's been three months. I can't remember how long. Uh, boot camp was four, two months, eight weeks. And I think the schooling was 12 weeks. I think. So it's been five or six months since I've been home and I decided that I was going to take, because I'm a big shot army person now, gun ho army, wear my uniform everywhere. I'm 19 years old. Golly shucks. So <laughs> anyway, I decide I'm going to go home back to home to San Francisco. And I'm going to take my two girlfriends out to the most expensive restaurant in San Francisco. Yes, sirree. So, I take them to St. Francis Hotel. Now, St. Francis Hotel had a little, um, on the main floor where you ate, you could also dance. So in a circle, I don't know if you remember in the 40s, it was the dancing was in the middle of the floor while you ate. A lot of the shows are like that. And so all the tables and booths, we had a booth, were along the wall. Uh, and then there was a dance floor right in the middle. Beautiful dance floor. St. Francis was beautiful. And this was in 1966. So I had not spent any money because I hadn't left base. I mean, so I had all my paychecks for five or six months from the from the military. And I really thought I could afford St. Francis. <laughs> I was real. We were going to have the time of our lives. So we go to St. Francis. Now, of course, I have to wear my uniform. <laughs> And my girlfriend said, please change, please change, Lindy. You're so embarrassing. I said, why? Well, the Vietnam War, you know, they didn't want to be seen with a military person. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. I'm wearing my uniform, my dress uniform. Yes, sirree. <laughs> so we go, and we're eating our meal. And this older couple dance on the floor, and they're playing 1940s music. Or, yeah, it was about 1940s. And this older couple have got to be in their 70s because they were celebrating their 50th anniversary. She had a beautiful long dress on. It looked to be in the 30s. The silk. Was, he was, oh, dressed to the hilt. And, you know, gray hair. They danced beautifully. In fact, it was just beautiful how they danced. I could not believe at that age that they were so good at their dancing. So I decided, the rich army girl that I am, I'm gonna buy them a bottle of wine. It was a, either a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne. Big shot girl. <laughs> I did, I sent it to their table. I thanked them for such a beautiful dance. I mean, it was just, they were stunning. They look like professional dancers. In the meantime, we're waiting for our meal. So I think we all had like steaks. I mean, it, it was, you know, I was spending big time. And I get my steak, and then I said, now, we've done pretty good so far in our etiquette at this place, you know. I've been really formal, and I, I you know, did everything right, and I was watching my silverware, and you know how what to use with what <laughs> and I get my steak and I turn to the guy and I go can I have a bottle of ketchup 
Or can I have ketchup? Of course, you know, I mean, they're all formal and they have white gloves. They're just, I mean, it was just amazing. So this guy goes to the kitchen. He gets a full bottle of ketchup. He puts it on a white plate and he carries it like this through the middle of the dance floor to our table because they don't serve ketchup with steak. He made a big presentation of this stupid bottle of ketchup. I was so embarrassed. I said, you couldn't have brought me something in your pocket? <laughs> I was like, well, ma'am, we're here to please, but we don't serve ketchup with steak. You know, it's, I'm telling you guys, uh, I was so embarrassed at all three of us, and then we just started laughing. And he was laughing with us because he had done it on purpose. You know, it was just the funniest thing. You would, you had to have been there. I was laughing so hard because I thought, here we're pretending to be these big shots, you know. I, it wasn't as much money as I thought it would be. I think because I, I was in the Army, they gave us some kind of disc. I mean, they thought we were hilarious because we were really trying to be upper class. <laughs> and, and the waiters just loved us. And... It was just an amazing time. But everybody was laughing about that stupid bottle of ketchup that he had to carry out on a white plate with white gloves. Can you imagine? <laughs> I thought you might enjoy that story because every time I think about it, I laugh. I'm like, what a silly human being. But at 19, that's what you do, you know? You think you can, you know, you got the right etiquette and you can do the right thing. I thought you'd enjoy that story. You guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And watch my live. My lives on Tuesday nights. Thank you. Camo.